We're here with Jalen Green of the G League Ignite team. We're here in Walnut Creek, California. Yes, Jalen, appreciate you taking the time, man. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. So you've been out here since what, August? August. I was one of the first people here. So what what were your first impressions, I guess, when you, you first got out here? And I guess what has the whole journey been like so far? Uh, when I first got out here, it was different for me because, you know, you're away from your family. It's the first time that you're just on your own. So it was something I had to adapt to. But um, overall, the experience has been good. I'm learning a lot on and off the court and getting stronger, faster. Um, what can I say? I think I'm getting better overall. So I think that's the best thing. And what has it been like to be around pros? You know, you have almost all walks of life, right? You uh -huh. have Amir Johnson, who's played in the NBA, Jared Jack, who's played in the NBA, yep. Bobby Brown, who's like a legend overseas. Yep. Um, what has that been like to be kind of in this environment? Um, it's been good. Um, all the vets are like big bros to me. Uh, they give me advice. I can go talk to them, kick it with them. Um, it's, been, it's been fun, though. They give me advice. Uh, they get on me when I'm slacking. Uh, so, yeah, overall, it's just been a good experience with the vets, and I could consider them all my big bros. And you've had every major college on you, right, wanting you to go to go that route. But yeah. what do you think are the biggest benefits of, you know, going this way instead? Uh, I think the – I mean, I'm not saying knocking college at all. Yeah, of both, both are great benefits. Right. But um, I think the biggest benefit here is just, like, you're picking up on NBA things mm -hmm. ahead of time before the college players can pick up on that. So I think just you're getting ahead of the game and mm -hmm. you're learning how to be a professional. And I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, before we get into your film, I just want to ask, what do you think it is that, that you can bring to an NBA team as a player? Um, I think I could bring effort, defense. Uh, I, I want to win. I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. Uh, I want to show a GM, a coach that I'm a two-way player and that I care about the defensive side too. And um, that's one thing that the coaches are trying to get me to do better at because I came to them and told them I want to get better at defense. So I just want to show them I can play both sides and I want to win. Yeah, and that's all the best players in the NBA are two-way guys, right? Thanks, and thanks. so, um, you know, just being here, it seems like you've embraced that that challenge. What, they were calling you, they call you baby? Baby, yeah, you heard about that. Yeah. <laughs> I, caught on, I caught on that too late. Um, they was just running this play where they can't put me in a post every time. I called it baby, but um, just trying to take advantage. Yeah, of Yeah, but I, I I walled up, so I didn't let them do that. Yeah, no, I have I have a couple of the clips <laughs> here. So, but before your defense, obviously your offense is uh, what people probably know you most for, yeah. um, and I think it starts with your explosiveness. Obviously, your ability to kind of play above the rim and change speeds and all that. Yeah. When did you first realize that, like, okay, my athleticism is a little bit different than guys my age? Um. Probably my sophomore year with Ebo, uh, I was playing on Adidas circuit. Okay. And I think that whole year I was just dunking everything. <laughs> everything every time I came into the lane and I just was realizing like I'm in, I'm really athletic, you know, so I can do things that other people really can't do and get away with it. Yeah. But at this level I learned that you gotta have more skill. You gotta change your game a little bit, add more to your bag because that everyone's athletic and everyone's big, so Right, so you got to be able to shoot, you got to be able to handle, got to be able to, be able to pass. switch it up. Yep. Yeah, and, and you've you've grown in that way so much, and we'll, we'll show a lot of that. But Appreciate again, that. the foundation it starts with the bounce. Are, are you more comfortable with two feet, one feet? Uh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Uh, I feel like I get higher off one foot, but. So uh, when are you thinking I'm gonna punch this on his head? Uh, as soon as I saw daylight, as soon as I hit that corner, and I knew he was on my side. I just knew, I knew. Yeah. Who's that, who have you dunked over that maybe stands out most in your mind over the course of your career? Um, or anyone, I guess, you're, you're looking forward to challenging at the rim at the next level? I'm, I'm looking forward to challenging everybody at yeah. the rim. I don't really have no one in particular, but I for sure am coming for heads. But <laughs> there's not one that stood out to me in my past. Uh, I've dunked on a lot of people. I've been trying to catch a mirror. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I try to catch him twice. that should be an easy target, right? He's old legs. He's so big though, and he's so <laughs> strong. So he just bumped me in there. But yeah. No, but again, you're you're an electrifying athlete, and I think there are only a few guys in the NBA with your athleticism. Not that you play the same as these guys, uh -huh. but um, you know, Zach Levine is a guy who's got springs in his legs. I've been watching a lot of film on him too. Yeah, what do you think? I think he's really good. Uh, he worked. He his dad makes him work. He works. Uh, he got really good. And that kind of similar, right, with the uh, the two foot bounce there, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. And again, he's had a different path than you. You know, yeah, he fact. he wasn't as highly rated and mm-hmm. came off the bench a lot for UCLA, but just kind of grinded, grinded, and now mm-hmm. became who he is. Yeah. Um, and then John Morant, just in terms of the quickness and the bounce. That's my you watch him bro. much? No, yeah, I watch him all the time. That's my big bro. I can actually say, like, that's really my big bro. Like, uh, before he even, like, blew up or anything um, at Murray State, he had reached out to me and just told me to keep going. And that meant a lot to me just because, like, I was doing the same thing, trying to get going. You know, people was, this was right before Peace Jam and stuff. Uh-huh. So I was kind of going through a funk and then, like, kind of helped me out. So that's really my big bro. Yeah, he's a great, great guy, man. Great just dude. his path has been crazy. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. like the videos of him jumping on tires in the back of his house with his yeah. dad. and He's a hometown hero. Yeah, yeah, it really is. South Carolina, man. Something's in the water out there. <laughs> um, and, and then D. Fox, too, I think. Like, you're in this class of athlete in the NBA. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you talk about Levine, Ja, and then De'Aaron. Have, have you played with or against De'Aaron at all throughout uh, the years or no? No, I don't think I have. Um, did you watch him at all? I know he's yeah. more, kind of a different position. but Yeah, I kind of watched him a little bit uh, just because he's so quick and so explosive. Um change directions fast yeah just i I mean his ability to go from like okay chilling relaxed to to just just, boom shot out of a cannon yeah no i get told a lot that i have a quick first step so i'll be trying to compare myself or like see what they do see if i could kind of mirror it or make it my own yeah and and i think that's absolutely going to be the case in the nba and then so we've seen the leaping ability but also being able to get out and transition Mm -hmm. like i'm sure coach has said a lot you're not always going to have the ball in your hands right um so have you worked on kind of finding more ways to to impact the game uh yeah i'm still trying to work on it a little bit Uh, i'm so used to just having the ball all the time and so i'm just gonna have to adjust to that but uh the offense helps a lot yeah Uh, moving same screens and stuff like that, coming off down screens, going to go set up the big. Uh, so that helps a lot. Um, I'm starting to get used to it a lot more and starting to find ways to move without the ball, and it's helping me. Yeah, we'll get into some some of that too. And just, But at what point, like just to finish up kind of highlighting your explosiveness, like at what point do you know you're you're ripping and attacking here? Uh, it's, I see him relaxing already, and I already – I'm already ready to rip. So That's, it's already over. Yeah, it's already over. And I like how, okay, maybe you're, you know, quote unquote skinny, but you're not afraid of contact at all. No. Nah. Why I, is that? I used to play football when I was a younger, when I was younger, and that was like my main sport. I didn't even think about basketball. Really? So I was always a contact. What position? I played wide receiver in, in elementary, or in middle school, in elementary school, I played quarterback, and then like peewee, I played running back. I think what stood out to me watching you here these last few days and like just how talented you are of a shot creator, like with the ball in your hands, whether mm-hmm. it's facilitating, whether it's getting to your pull up. Um, I mean, it just looks easy for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so what is your first kind of read in pick and roll as Isaiah is coming to set this screen that you're going to reject this, right? Yeah, I'm rejecting. Uh, well, I was looking to come off at first, uh, but I didn't like how it, he was playing me to the left. So mm-hmm. I, they were saying on the sideline, I can't go left, force some left, force some left. So I just went left. And then how you get low here and kind of edge, wedge him out of the play, right? Uh-huh. Um, just having that type of strength. Uh, do you think skinny is the wrong word for you? Like, because you're strong. Yeah. Uh, nah, skinny is a great word. I mean, it can could, it could offset people. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not really tipping. Uh, people, you know, they gave me the baby little thing yeah. over here. They know I'm strong. I don't know why they do that, but... You like the challenge? I like the challenge. I love to compete. So we've seen that you reject, but then if you're going to use it, back to your high school film here, Uh um, and you're coming off as a scorer, what what are you looking at here? Right now, I'm either looking for the slip uh, or the shot. And so if he's going to be dropped back like that, you can just rise up, right? Yeah, just rise up. Um, and just through your ability to elevate from anywhere on the floor, I think made you pretty unguardable. I mean, It's so so different from high school to, to now, like... Just, just right now watching that, I, I was either saying either the slip or the fan away. But in high school, you, no one's fanning away like that. Right. right. You know, so it's it's so different. And in high school, you probably see an open lane or an yeah. open shot, and that's that's it's, your read. Exactly. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's interesting to go back and like look at <laughs> that tournament. You were ridiculous. Yeah, it was crazy. It you was remember great, that? It was a great tournament. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Bradley Beal, I think is we're gonna mix in some NBA guys too, but mm-hmm. I think Bradley Beal is a guy who's obviously leading the NBA in scoring and. Um, as somebody that you remind me of in some ways with the athleticism of those guys, but mm-hmm. also the skill of him. Ha- have He's you studied him much? Score. Yeah, I have. Uh, I've been watching a lot of film lately, but uh, I-, I like Brad Bill's game. He could just score. 
He's a superior scorer. From all over, right? All over. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to face these deep drops probably a little bit too in the NBA, right? Yeah. The, the bigs, okay, they like to switch, but... Um, too low, I'm going to knock it down. Yeah, a lot of room to operate. Mm -hmm. And, you know, great spacing. And then Levine, again, just to show he's someone who can just elevate over the top, right? It's great just seeing, like, because now we can relate to these NBA players and seeing the same thing that they see. So it, it's it's kind of cool watching the film and seeing, like, okay, this we have this open when we run in our offense. Or, you know, we can just relate. So now you understand the actions, the yeah. system, the terminology. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, for sure. You're kind of a, a step ahead, I think, of, of most guys because of that. Yeah. Um, and I think, again, you're going to have the ability to rise up like that, just like Levine. And then you got the mid-range game too, right? Yeah. I, I kept that hidden for, for a while. What's that? I kept the mid-range game hidden for a while. People didn't think I had a pull-up or anything coming up through high school and stuff. But um, You need to have it, though. You look yeah. at all the best scores in the NBA, exactly. and, like, that's the shot teams want to give up in the playoffs, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so – if you can knock that down and make them pay, you're pretty hard to guard. And then here, the float game, too. Um, what are you seeing here as you come off? A little change of pace? Well, I was looking to see if uh, Dante was going to roll or be open, uh, but Amir stayed there, and I just floated off the glass. And you have that, right? You yeah. have that in your bag, the float game? Yeah, of course. So you have, the, you have the power, the toughness, but then also, you know, the finesse there. And I love this out of Beal. He's really good at kind of, like, keeping guys on his hip. Uh -huh. Is this something you studied, too? Uh... Yeah, I know that's something I need to work on a lot more, but I for sure studied it before with Coach Seed or Coach Seafar. Mm -hmm. um, so I've, I've been over it a couple of times. I just for sure need to get to a lot more. And as you get into the NBA, you're going to realize, like, you're going to start playing so slow. Like, if you watch Chris Paul, it's like he's playing in slow motion, yeah. you know? See, that, and so that's, that's one of my biggest problems is I, I move fast. And you've been here for the two days. Like, I, I, I speed up a lot, and I – don't have to. I can mm -hmm. slow down and play my own game and get guys open. But, yeah. No, for sure. And I think that's going to come, you know, continually with time and reps. And, yeah, again, it's something that stood out just watching, you know, these last – your couple scrimmages, your high school games, and then these last couple of days. Mm -hmm. um, I like the setup here. You use the spin move a lot, right? Yeah, I do. What's the thought with that? It's just people try to pressure up and then just be – you could just wrap around. I don't know. It's, it's, like, it's, it's easier than... Yeah, it's an instinct. Mm -hmm. And then so as you're coming off here, what's your read? I was looking at Kai, but I threw it too low, and I got to make it a better pass. But still the right read probably, right? Yeah. Um. So a, as you progress in your NBA career, maybe it's holding him on your hip a little more, mm -hmm. or the lefty pocket pass. Um, I could have took a better angle too, coming off that pick and roll. Yeah, no, that's a good point. But in, in general, I think that's definitely the right read, and it shows – you know, your ability to read the floor. Um, and then even in high school, mm -hmm. so what coverage is this from them? Uh, this is so. Yep, so he's trying to show, he's trying to hedge. Yeah. And then as you beat that, what are you kind of looking here? What are your options? I'm either looking at the corner or I'm looking for Mowat number three. Yep, so you're reading that one weak side defender to see yeah. if he takes the roll man or yeah. doesn't, right? Yeah. And he kind of doesn't, and then just an easy pass. Easy read. Um, and then now, higher level of competition, you know, you're hitting the roll, man, with these kind of quick hook passes, right? Uh -huh. uh, what do you see here? Yeah, the hook, the glow back. And just the ability to do that off the live dribble with one hand. Yeah, um, that's a little sloppy, though. Our coaches don't really like us making the one-hand passes because, you know, if it gets telegraphed or whatever, it can mm -hmm. get stolen easy. But uh, that throwback pass is helpful. Yeah, just the speed of it and, yeah. and getting it off quickly, I think, is, is definitely helpful. And then I love this. Um, take me through this play. I came off the screen, um, came over, he went under, and then left Zay tied, and I just threw it back. Yeah, and, and just being sure with your handle, right? He's going to dig at that. Yeah, they didn't communicate back there, so left our man open. Zay tied, knocked it down. Yep, the stretch big, right? Yeah. And that's just fluid offense. And then so we've seen you hit the pop man, seen you hit the roller, and then Namari Burnett in the corner, right? Yeah. Yeah, you next, guys were fun to watch. That's the next read. Yeah, that's the next level read, right? Yeah, that's that's hard to. That's a hard pass. I gotta I gotta work on that a lot more too. Hitting the corner. Yeah, because I, I feel like I could draw defenders pretty easy. So mm -hmm. like that corner be wide open a lot of times or the lift up. So what do you, so what's your progression then? You come off, say they're in like a drop, uh -huh. and they're you know he's fighting over. Then what? What's your if first I, read? If second I, if read. I'm in a drop. And 
I'm coming off. I'm looking for the roller first. Mm-hmm. And then I'm looking corner, mm-hmm. opposite. And then if I don't see that, then I'm taking that power dribble and I'm getting to whatever I need to get to. Yep. If that big doesn't come up, then shot. So you're reading up, the tags. Yeah, if you come up, on by, yeah. So you're reading the tags, and, and if you can hit the pocket pass, okay, you hit it. If it's taken away, then you probably got the corner skip. Yeah. And then if they guard it really well, then you're either at the rim in his body. Or I'll back out. Or back it out, it. ISO game. Yeah. So we'll get into that because I think that's maybe where you're at your best mm-hmm. right now is your ability to create space, um, all that. But just to wind down here, these are some clips I thought I uh, wanted to see, like, what you saw. Um, so as you come off here, what, what do you see? Like, what are some options that you can I have? I remember okay. this play. Uh, I came off I came out, out of control, first off. Um, yeah, I was just very out of control and sped up, so I was just in a rush. I wasn't even looking to score. I wasn't even at an angle to score. I could have had a pull-up right there, maybe. Mm-hmm. Hands down. What do you think of Bobby? Is that Bobby? Fan away, yep. I had to fan away. Would right you have there. the left, maybe? Yeah, I could have threw that left hand. We work on that. And then maybe it's a one more to the corner? Yeah, Reggie could have hit that. Um, but again, it's not like a turnover. To the, skip to the corner. So yeah. that's the next level read you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's the next level read. So we've seen the pop, we've seen the strong side corner um, now being able to make that. Um, but again, you've shown the willingness to do it with the left. Uh, but what do you see here? I know it's kind of a tough angle. Mm-hmm. Side pick and roll. Let's see. Dante throws back. I reject it. And I try to drop it off to him. And what do you see on the weak side? Uh, JK wide open. Yeah, so that's the ne- that's the stuff we're talking about, right? Yeah. That next level. So you come off. A lot of times I try to force that, that pocket pass. And I got to remember that bigs don't really like grabbing all the way down here. Right. So I got to make a better pass. That's something I got to get better at. Yeah, and I think you will. Um, and then soon that's going to be a lefty skip to, to JK, yeah. um, which is something that you'll see from Brad, like coming out of these handoffs. Similar situation, right? Yeah, right there. That's tough. That's and, really tough. And all the best guards can do it with either hand, yeah. um, pass, dribble, shoot. And I think you have that skill set for sure. Um, and then playing out of these handoffs too, I think, is, is something you'll continue to get like more comfortable with, right? The kind yeah. of the pitch and catch. How much do you guys work on that? We work on it all the time all the time. Uh, when we come to night shooting, it's full work coming off pick and rolls uh, or down screens. Uh, we work on a lot. Of so being able to play on the move, right? That's why coach always tells us attack the shot because when we come off those, we be wide open. We just got to attack it so we can knock it down. But um, um, and, and this is what you see from a guy like Brad. Hit, come off, boom, easy money, right? Playing yeah. basketball. I just got to get more comfortable. The first couple of scrimmages, uh, I didn't even really feel like myself, for real. Really? Yeah. So I you felt, could feel, like, the level of competition? Yeah, you could feel it. Um, it's different. And that's where all that mentality mentality comes in, and it's, like, really a mental game. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I work pretty hard, so I just got to put it all together. How much do you work on, like, the, the mental aspect of it? Uh, I'm, I'm really just starting to because, you know, when you start in high school, it's just like a fun yeah. thing for you. Like, you love playing basketball. Um, but now we're starting to get into it more mentally. Um, I meditate a little bit. Uh, take some, like, five minutes just to breathe, you know. Yep. But, uh, yeah. And it's I, good to center nice. yourself, especially someone like you, man. You, I mean, you're famous at age 16, right? Yeah. How, I mean, that's got to be strange. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been different. It's been different. Yeah, and to balance, like, are you on social media? Are you off social media? Like, I mean, especially you, like, you went from being, you know, everyone knows who you are, right? And now you're kind of tucked away here. And has part of that been nice to just kind of be off the scene a little bit? It has been. It has been. Uh, Everyone's like, dang, like, we tucked off. No one can see us play. Uh, At first it was like, I mean, that sucks we're not getting to play, but we're working out. Right. Like, we're practicing, working out, getting better every day, like. I don't have no problem with it. Sometimes it's better to move in silence, too, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. Get a little bit more done. Um, but, again, so back to your game. Um, I think just your ability to create space at your age. I mean, you already have NBA-level moves, you know, in, in your game. Um, and it starts with the step back, right? Yeah. Take me through this. Yeah, it was like – I think this was a crunch time shot. Uh, yeah, late to, fourth just quarter. Just to seal the game. Um, I knew he, I just I just was in kill mode already. I was already locked in that whole game, so I was just attacking him. So whose bag is this from? Uh, 
This is from mine. This is my bag right here. I, <laughs> I like, I like bag. yeah. I like the uh, killer crossover. That's something I work on a lot actually. And, and this the step back has always been in the bag. So and yeah, that's a that's a move you see from all the NBA stars. Yeah. Obviously, just kind of the, the footwork easiest with way it. to create space. Yeah, exactly. And being light on your feet and kind of similar here, right? Ooh, that's tough. What do you like about that? How you just like. He like came at a pace, like hopped into it, ooh, and it's that. So slow to fast, yeah, right? Yeah, slow to fast. Um, being able to be relaxed and then boom. And then Dame, um, <sighs> one of the best, right? One of the best. <laughs> what do you think of this? His step back's crazy. Okay, do you have that going right too? You yeah. had one today, I think. Yeah, I had one going right today. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. Dame's game is crazy. I'm always impressed with Dame. And like he's another guy was not a big name recruit yeah. weber state um story. scratch and claw you know story. and he got there and, and so now he's hitting big shots shots like this and then he, he's got the dame time do you have you got anything like that like what's good you're gonna have like a signature thing in the nba or no Nah, i'll probably just see the throw like three throw that up something like that you keep know? it keep it light keep it simple there you go um but again yeah he doesn't do a lot of talking but he lets you know with this play and then we've seen the step back and then kind of the pullback too, right? Yeah. What take me through this move? Um, I was supposed to blue it. I mean, it's supposed to be a blue. It's supposed to be a blue attack. Mm -hmm. I throw it back, but uh, the dude's uh, number thirty-four stay with Bash. Mm -hmm. So I just was either I'm gonna get to the rim or I'm gonna come back and on off that hezzy, he mm -hmm. kind of like bit on it and backed up with his hands down. So I just shot it. Easy pull up. So how is it like finding that balance between okay I can get my shot anytime I want, mm -hmm. but sometimes I want to use my athleticism, right? Do you, do you fight that at all, at all? Like settling a little too much? Uh yeah, I settle a lot. I settle a lot. I some, that's something I need to work on. Um, I usually go inside out first, try to get going mm -hmm. to get warm, but uh, put pressure on the rim. I just been feeling so comfortable with my shot that I just been settling so much. And that's I, an area you've made like because you used to not be this type of shooter. Yeah, no. Nah. And I just, yeah, I just feel so comfortable with my shot now. I just feel like I can shoot wherever. But I do need to balance it out. And uh, Rod Strickland told me that, too. I need to find a balance between shooting threes and getting to the rim. Yeah, because you can do both. Yeah. And you got the best of both worlds. And, and here are a couple of clips of you doing that. Um, I mean, no one can guard you on an island like this, right? Mm-mm. Hell no. And, and so drawing the foul there. And then, okay, if he is giving you kind of space, right, and can keep you in front, what can you do? If he's giving me a little bit of space, I'm not gonna bump him up a little bit. Some of my strength. Get see, into his body. See that, see that killer crossover? I told you. I'll Let's be, see. I'll be using that all the time. <laughs> so one thing too, I think you'll have the like you used to having the ball in your hands, but the fact that you can catch and shoot, I think, is gonna help you right away. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that way too? Yeah, I just think, I think there's still some improvement I need to get on my catch and shoot because I feel more comfortable. With off the dribble shooting. So getting into a rhythm. Yeah, but we've been working on my catch and shoot, so. And this is pretty good, like just with your preparation, hands and feet already on the hop, bang, right? Uh, no, but I think it, like just because, you know, you're a guy who has that type of touch from deep, you know, you can skate along the baseline, get off it, and then play with multiple guards. Because if you look at the best teams in the NBA, mm -hmm. they all have multiple ball handlers, Yeah. right? It's very rare that you're going to be the only dude going to get it. Look at KD and, and James right now, you know? Everybody can play. Right. Pass, dribble, shoot. Um, and, and I think you have that ability. So you mentioned the improvement defensively, right? Like, mm -hmm. what goes into that? Like, becoming a guy who's, like, really a lockdown guy? Uh, I think a lot goes with, like, footwork and just getting your legs stronger. Like, mm -hmm. once, once you get your legs stronger to where you're not tired from sitting in that stance, it's all a mentality after that. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to want to play defense. You got to want to lock somebody up. Like, it's all on you at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that's something that pleases me while I'm on the court, that makes me happy on the court. Like, if I could sit here and say I locked you up and still go score on you at the same time, right? Like that's something that will make me happy my, for myself. Because so. there's not a lot of guys who are doing that in the NBA. Yeah. Like, true two-way guards, mm -hmm. like, you know, Jalen Suggs, he, he does that. Yeah. Drew Holiday, he does that. Um, but even a lot of these guys we're going through, you know, like Zach Levine, great player, not known yeah. as a defender. Um, it's hard, you know. And, it's hard to do. Yeah, but, at the but same you want to be one of the only. That's hunt. what wins games. Like, yep. offense don't win games. Like, defense right. don't win games. Yep, 100%. And if you look at Kawhi and guys like that, 
um, who have been at the top mm -hmm. for so long. That's why, right? Yeah. Play both sure. ends. And, and so what do you see here? Um, this is in the scrimmage game. Um, Who's that against, Briscoe? Yeah, Briscoe. I mean, he's a safety guard. Physical, right? I, I try to force him to the baseline, just let him sit on the baseline. But So is, are you guys like a no-middle team? Like you want to keep it on the baseline or it depends? I mean, it just depends. Uh, no, nah, I think actually no middle. Yeah, no middle. We, we like to blue a lot. Right mm -hmm. here, I should have gone into a blue. Um, and part of that's your big though, right? Yeah. They got to tell you blue is ice. Keep it on the sideline. Yeah. Um, it's hard. It, 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 I'm not gonna lie. It's a struggle for me on defense playing like we're here because like you just gotta remember so much on defense. Right. Like, and people are so much stronger and faster. So it's it's like you gotta get used to it. It's moving but, quick. But I know I could do it. So I just got I just gotta lock in. So if the ball, if you guys are in like a drop here, say maybe we're supposed to be in a blue. Yeah. Um. What do you? What's something you could do here? Um, talk, veer. Uh, veer is a communication that we say when we're gonna switch. If I can't get back to him, but yep. uh, I tell him I'm back, I'm back, and so Zayta should probably sprint back out to his man. And then if you if you have just that active hand too, yeah, like he probably can't throw probably this throw back, right? Still, yeah, you're right. So take that away, and I think those are the little things you're gonna do more and more as you learn from these guys and. Um, like this, I like this a lot. Okay, so it's a double kind of drag, right? Mm -hmm. And just look at the fight, the contest. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. I I think <laughs> for these scrimmages right here, I think I, I struggled defensively. I think I could have done a lot better. Off um, ball or on ball? Both. Yeah. Because I'm seeing like how I'm playing defense now. It's mm, different. Scrimmaging, I think it's a lot better than this right here. Well, and this was, what, two months ago? Yeah, this was two months ago. Yeah, and so, and I'll show you some clips more recent um, that, that show your growth there, mm. right? So, okay, here's one. This is, they're calling baby, this right? This is baby, yep. This is baby. Pick and there were a few more today where you locked them up. Yeah, pick on JD. So what's your goal here? Just make him uncomfortable? Yeah, make him uncomfortable. Take space before he try to take space. Yep. And Reggie's been a good player for a long yeah. time, right? Reggie's really good. We call and him, so we, you had that possession, multiple possessions where, um, you know, I thought you locked up uh, against him. And, and also, like, off ball, you could see your growth, too. So this is in high school. Where should you probably be? I should probably be in the middle. At the rim, right? I should be home. Yeah, yeah home. Exactly. Home. NBA terminology right there. Yes, so you should be home. They get a layup. Whereas here, this is in that scrimmage. You can see. So he's going to run through. You're on the baseline, right? Uh -huh. And look what you do immediately. Stay home. Yep. Like, that's, you can already see the growth, <laughs> you know? That's crazy. <laughs> Just seeing that is like, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. And it's the little things that, like, I think they even score here. Yeah. Not that you get a block or a steal, but you're at the rim. You force him to kick it out, a mm -hmm. jump pass, and then, you know, they're out of rhythm. So, yeah. like, uh, you can definitely see some of that stuff. And But, I mean, when you show those glimpses, like, this closeout, I mean, this is perfect. This is a possession killer, right? Yeah. So, you're in position off the ball. You leave on the flight of the pass, boom. It's pretty good. Um, make him uncomfortable, and then he gets off of it. Doesn't not, doesn't get you a steal, doesn't get you a block, any of that, but like. Just being there. Take them out of rhythm, right? Yeah. And then here, I mean, you might have to chase around shooters. They might say, hey, Jalen, guard Joe Harris, you know? Like, he's running off of all this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and here, you do a good job getting through this, what, elevator screen? The biggest call the thing. foul, right? Yeah. The biggest thing for screens that I've learned the most is just like you gotta attach to them early and it's okay to bump. Like you could be physical with them, so you just gotta be there early, attached to them, bump them off their spot so you can slid it through that little gap. Mm -hmm. so. Like today even, like these wide pin downs, yeah. right? They have you riding the outside hip. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. that it? Yeah, exactly what I'm talking about. I talk to Rashid all the time. I be like what I'm supposed to say on defense, like I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. And he was like, we think "We'll go over. You, you're doing good." And then, how do I get through this screen? Like I'm, I'm trying to bump him. Like, I can push him. I'm just always asking questions. Like I feel like I can always do better. And, and the last question, before I let you go, is like uh, the one thing that stood out to me just coming out here the last couple of days is mm -hmm. um, it seems like you know outside guy comes in ESPN. He's taking videos or yeah. whatever. Um, you almost like rise to that. Like you yeah. seem like comfortable <laughs> in like those type of situations. Like you, yeah. you come out, you're, you're working out, mm -hmm. you probably just lift it, whatever. And then you just come jump in the drill and you're splashing step back threes. Like it's nothing. Yeah. Uh, is that just like how you've always been wired or that's something you've had to work on? I mean, that's something I probably had to work on. 
uh, I, I feel like young JG would be like, man, I just lifted, man. I'm tired. You know? Yeah. But since we've been doing it for so long, we kind of like adapt to it. And like once you step on the floor, it's just like, it's easy. But like, just like the no fear mentality. Like, yeah, do you nah. feel pressure and things like that or no? I mean, I, yeah, I feel pressure. I feel it. But I mean, I've always had pressure. Like coming up through high school, it's, ever since I came out, number one. Right. Everyone's been on me about, you got to do this, you got to do that. So I just block it out and play my game. That's I, all you can do, I right? Know I, I know I can play basketball, and this is what I do. So just gotta, you just got to know that so this is what you do. So. Yeah, well, you do it pretty well. So <laughs> I, I appreciate you, you know, taking the time, man. And I know you just making eye contact every time I come <laughs> down, you know. So Yeah, I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, I know. So. No, well, soon enough, teams will be able to see you, you know, out in the bubble. And um, obviously, you have a really bright future ahead of you. So appreciate I appreciate it. the time, man. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.